Once you've created a document, you can add your digital signature. Now what this does is, is basically confirm that you are the content creator and it hasn't been tampered with since you added your signature. So when you finish your document, you add your digital signature and then you give it to someone. If that person opens it and it gives them a warning, it will warn them if the document content has been altered after the digital signature was applied. And that is, it's been tampered with. Now to add your digital signature and add authenticity to the document, you simply go to File in the ribbon and you go Protect Document and you add a digital signature. At this point you would be taken to go and purchase one from a Microsoft partner or if you already had one it would allow you to attach it. So you may have to go and acquire a digital signature um, from a number of providers on the internet. But I'll just go no. The other aspect to digital signatures is not only can you add a digital signature to a document you've created to give it authenticity, but you can also put a digital signature line in a document where someone else can add their digital signature as if they'd sign the document. So in that case, I press Control End, for example, and make a bit of a gap. And then I want to insert a signature line. So I go to Insert in the ribbon, and from here I'm able to choose Signature Line. And this inserts, as it says here, this inserts a signature line that specifies the individual who must sign. Um, so if I click that, Suggested Signer, I might say is Kathy Barker, Suggested Signer's title is um, final, final Approver, and Email Address. Before, the sign, before signing this document, verify that the content you are signing is correct and please add your digital signature, Kathy. Allow the signer to add comments, so I will, and OK. And basically here is a digital signature line, and what Kathy would do is she would give the final approval by double-clicking it, and adding her signature to that line.